The iPhone 16 isn't set to release for a number of months still, but in this video, we've got something pretty special to show you. An early look at the device based off of leaks and rumors, a number of component leaks of things like the new battery, and even the prototypes for the lower end models that Apple is currently working on. And we're doing all of this after pulling some strings at maybe my favorite spot in the entire world. So let's jump into the new design. And here it is. This is the new iPhone 16 that Apple currently has planned for release in September of 2024. And what you're seeing is based off of the latest leaks and rumors from credible sources that have been right in the past. And from what we can see, Apple's plan for this year is to make refinements to the iPhone 15 design that debuted just a couple of months ago, one made out of titanium, an all new material for the iPhone, and curved edges that are more comfortable in your hand. And those things are basically the end of the similarities, as Apple is planning to refine pretty much every part of the iPhone, starting off with the all new display. Because the iPhone 16s are going to be the largest iPhones Ever. Apple is planning to increase the current 6.1 and 6.7 inch sizes to 6.3 and 6.9 inches respectively, which means the Pro Max is going to be absolutely huge at nearly seven inches diagonally for the screen size. That is absolutely insane. But this larger screen is something you'll even notice on the smaller 6.3 inch iPhone 16 Pro. Just compared to the iPhone 15 Pro, it is actually going to be noticeable. That being said, 0.2 inches, you know, for some of us, that's everything. But for the iPhones, that's not really that much of an increase. And that is why Apple is also planning a radically upgraded version of Dynamic Island on here. Because since 2022, when Apple first unveiled Dynamic Island on the iPhone 14 Pro lineup, it has been the same size. It's pretty tiny in general and definitely gives you more screen real estate than if Apple had continued using the notch. But over time, yeah, Apple wants to make it even better. And that's why they have figured out a way to put Face ID below the display and just leave the camera part of Dynamic Island on your screen. In our renders, I think this looks incredibly good. I mean, not only is it super technically impressive, but it gets us one step closer to that iPhone with nothing on the display one day, with no dynamic island that is truly bezel-less with no distractions at all. Unfortunately though, that phone is still a few years away. Apple is keeping the camera above the screen still because uh, our Android friends tried to put it below the screen and this is what the selfies look like. So I think Apple's gonna wait just a little bit on that one. Somehow though, the new screen on the iPhone 16 Pro isn't actually the most interesting part of the design this year. It's the addition of an entirely new button. Because for the second year in a row, located just a few inches below the power button, Apple is adding a brand new button to the iPhone and that is known as the new capture button. And yes, this is actually real. This has been reported so many times from a number of different sources. A dedicated video button is coming on the iPhone 16 Pro. And is anybody else just a little confused by this? Considering the fact that we already have the action button that can be reprogrammed to taking video. If that's something you want to do a lot, you can reprogram your action button to that. Why would there be a dedicated button for video? I, I think Apple's cooking something here. And the only idea I have is that this capture button ties into Apple's $3,500 Apple Vision Pro somehow, because that can record 3D spatial video and Apple's been pushing it like crazy. We don't actually know much about this capture button though. And I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Why this far into the iPhone is Apple adding a dedicated button just for video. It's fascinating. Now, because the iPhone 16 will have roughly the same design as the iPhone 15, it means it's still gonna be fragile. And that's why I partnered up with Andar who sponsored today's video. This is their brand new Aspen case, which is made of premium full grain oil wax leather. So that means it not only looks incredible and is going to age like a charm, it feels so good in your hand. In an era where Apple doesn't make a leather case anymore, I've been looking for a replacement. And this makes my iPhone 15 Pro go from premium to just like, this iPhone is him. The buttons on this case are so good. They're made out of a metal, alloy. So they're super responsive when you click them. It's on both sides of the phone. And there's even a dedicated one for the action button, which is super important to me. You've also got MagSafe built in and a soft microfiber lining for protection on the inside of the case. Like Andar has just thought every part of this case through. Is somebody that's used a ton of leather cases over the years, this one is just it, especially in this camel tan color, which I absolutely love. But there's a ton of other options as well. When you guys head over to the link down below in the description, you can get 15% off by using it. This case this is amazing. A huge thank you again to Andar for sponsoring this one. Now let's get back to it. Now, speaking of durability on the iPhone 16 Pro though, Apple could be making one change to make the durability better. And that has to do with the buttons actually. They might become solid state or vibrate only when you touch them and not physically move on the new phones in 2024. So that means the volume buttons, the power, and even the new capture button on the iPhone would work similar to the home button on an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8, where you're not getting actual mechanical feedback. Your phone just
just gives you haptic or vibration feedback when you press it to simulate a press. And practically, this means two things. Number one, likely some better waterproofing. And number two, less moving parts is always a good thing because it means the phone will be more durable over time. You would never have to worry about a button breaking when the button is just simulated by software. With that being said, even with the cooler buttons, the design of the iPhone 16 Pro overall is gonna be pretty muted. There is no major redesign. Apple is not doing that back-to-back -back years. It's just a refined version that I think looks a lot nicer of the iPhone 15 Pro. By the way, real quick, just a huge thank you to my boy Shay over at Concept Central who has made all of the incredible renders and images that you've seen in this video from scratch. They are truly one of a kind and I could not have made this video without him. So go subscribe to his channel, link is down below. Something else that Apple is also making a lot nicer that I could not be more excited for is better battery life. You can probably tell my energy, I have been depraved of a good battery for too long. I just don't feel like it's been a priority for Apple. And finally, on the iPhone 16 Pros, they are taking the battery seriously again. And this has been confirmed through some early photo leaks that surfaced over on Twitter slash X that actually physically show us the capacity of the battery and the design that Apple has opted for. And here's why this is a big deal. First of all, it shows that Apple is changing the fundamental structure of the battery. It's no longer just gonna be wrapped in a light black plastic coating as it has since 2007. It looks like Apple is gonna be plating it with metal, which should help for thermal management. Basically, the less hot your phone gets, the less battery you'll use. The second thing we can see in these photos is the new capacity of the battery, which usually doesn't leak for months. And that is sitting at 3355 milliamp hours for the 6.3 inch iPhone 16 Pro, which is 3% bigger than the current iPhone 15 Pro. Now listen, that sounds really small. That's about the same increase we got from the 14 Pro to the 15 Pro, but coupled with the new design and also some crazy rumors of Apple using stacked battery technology as well to further extend battery life. That capacity of just 3% bigger, it could change a lot when the internals of the battery work different than the current batteries we have now. Just mark my words, I feel it. 2024 is gonna be a big year for battery. Following the battery, Apple is also unexpectedly doing a major update to the microphones. This was one that I didn't really see coming considering that the mics on iPhones and phones in general are, are pretty good at this point. But we've seen some reports that because Apple is planning to do more with AI on the iPhone 16, they want a new microphone with a better signal to noise ratio so it can basically better understand what you're saying even in a noisy or confusing environment for the phone. Kind of weird, especially saying the word Apple and AI, which they haven't really touched yet, but this is clearly on their roadmap. We've seen some features already in iOS 17, like the big improvements to autocorrect that we felt the effects of being really good because of AI. So it's clear Apple's working on it, and it does sound like coupled with these new microphones, AI and the iPhone 16, you know, maybe that new capture button from earlier, it's all going to tie together in a way that this early on we just don't see the through line yet. Moving on from that, it would not be an iPhone video if we didn't have some sick leaks for the cameras. And just wait till we get to the, the prototypes of the lower end models. That's, that's where things are getting wild. But let's just start off with the pro cameras first, which is where Apple is going to add the 5X telephoto, the new Tetra Prism design that is exclusive to the Pro Max on the regular Pro, which is sick for somebody like me that uses the Pro and does not like the bigger phone. I am hyped that I will finally get this insane photo and video quality. The quality, the stabilization, the polish on this lens is already nuts. And Apple just did the classic thing, oh, we added to the Pro Max, you guys all buy it, spend 1100 bucks, then they added down to the regular models a year later. Um, cool, we've seen this playbook before. The camera upgrade that excited me more though was that Apple is adding the 48 megapixel sensor to the ultra wide lens. So currently this is only on Apple's main camera. It's why the, the photos in your main camera might look great. If you go ultra wide or telephoto, sometimes the quality can, especially in low light, cannot be as good. Well in 2024, the ultra wide camera is getting this 48 megapixel sensor, which is huge because that is definitely the lens on the iPhone that is the weakest right now. It struggles in low light the most. It's come a long way since it first dropped on the iPhone 11 Pro, but it is still not all the way there where it could be. It's gonna be a huge year for meme photos. I could not be more excited, and I think the 16 Pro will be worth that for the upgrade alone. And of course, powering the cameras and everything else on the iPhone 16 Pro is Apple's A18 Pro chip, which will be even faster and crazier than before. No specific details just yet because it is a little bit early on. Now, that's just the pros. 
Apple is also planning some really big changes for the iPhone 16, and we've actually seen some prototypes of what Apple is currently working with, including colors, camera layouts, and more. So here they are. According to Mac rumors and a source that has been super accurate in the past, these are the current prototypes in active testing at Apple for the lower end iPhone 16 models. First of all, the colors here in testing, Apple has pink and black once again, but they've also got this pale yellow color that is All, terrible. It's just not a color that me personally, I'd want to walk around with in my hand. Luckily though, these are just prototypes, so that color is not yet finalized. What Apple is going to definitely do is redesign the cameras. Rather than being diagonal like they have been since the iPhone 13, Apple is going back to the iPhone 12 design to stack them vertically atop each other. Or to go back to the OG design for this on the iPhone 10 redesign in 2017, which to this day, I think is probably the prettiest camera we've ever had. Now, Apple, are they going to do two separate lenses? Are they going to do a unified design like we see on this pale yellow model? Well, that's still up in the air. That's the whole point of these prototypes. And while I do think this pale yellow actual camera design looks the coolest and freshest, I have a feeling Apple's just going to revert to two individual lenses because that's safe. And whether we like it or not, Apple tends to play it pretty safe with their mass market, more affordable models. And it's easy to look at this and just say Apple's lazy. They're just going back to the old design because they've run out of ideas. And while that could be true, true, I don't actually know. The real reason they're doing it is functional. With the two camera lenses returning to their vertical orientation, you'll be able to shoot Apple spatial video out of the box, which can then be played back on your Apple Vision Pro. It's immersive. People say it's crazy, and Apple doesn't want this just to be done on the iPhone Pros. They introduced it there last year. They're bringing it down to all models. Again, a familiar play from their book in 2024. The last thing we can see on these prototypes is that as expected, Apple could be adding the action button to the regular iPhone 16s, which again, very similar. They, they bring the features down over time, but there's also been some rumors, surprisingly, that say that this is not going to happen. So maybe Apple doesn't actually bring the action button down. That would be wild for the iPhone Pro to gain two buttons in two years and the regular iPhones to gain zero buttons. It's still too early to know for sure which direction Apple is going, but I hope you enjoyed this very first video on iPhone 16 leaks and rumors, one of many, many more to come. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, drop a like. It helps me out. Hit subscribe for more. Tell a friend. Really appreciate you guys. Happy 2024. I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.